Hello YouTube, Samurai Guy here, and today we're going to talk about what exactly you should do in the tragically unfortunate event that your Wi-Fi goes down. So, let's get into it. Alright, so your Wi-Fi has gone down. Wait, did he just, did he just say, did he just say the wi Wi-Fi's down? Well, it's been a good run. I mean, what can you do? Hold up. You might want to keep off that Clorox cocktail for just a minute until you see the interesting activities that I've come up with. There's a possibility that it might find something that is more entertaining than suicide by mixing up your organs. I swear. Okay. That might seem like a an exaggerated reaction to a fly, but that, that same fly has been tormenting me for longer than I can remember. And that doesn't even make sense to me because, because due to this fly, I was so irritated. I googled the lifespan of flies because he's too elusive. The largeness of him and the speed, they contradict one another, but it happens. He's fast and big and loud and freaking kills me. So yeah, it's 28 days by the way, a lifespan of, of a fly, but I guess not for that guy, he's some kind of mutant wherever he is. We're kind of like, you know, enemies, like arch rivals, where there's like a respect to them, where it's like you see them, you're like, all right, I hate you, but I respect you in a way. You get what, you get what I'm saying. I know you get what I'm saying. So anyway, um, the first thing that I'm gonna bring up to do when your Wi-Fi has gone down is to read. Now I know what you're thinking. Reading? Isn't that what I make fun of those kids in my class that are smarter than me do? No. That's not what I'm talking about, because them, for them, it's learning. For you, you're just trying to get by. And honestly, if you read, you might learn more about the stuff and then be able to make fun of them harsher and more accurate. You see where I'm coming from? So all you have to do is, you know, pick up any book. Books are easy to get these days. I mean, usually every school has a library. So, I mean, just grab a book. Got this from the middle school. And, uh, you know, just a, a nice book where you can read throughout the day. Maybe read to, like, your your little cousins or like your nephews or something something like that with the family you know that's actually this is a good time to hang out with your family when the Wi-Fi is down because it can bring you closer together in this time of crisis so the next activity we're gonna talk about is actually doing your homework just kidding please don't click away this is the only thing I do to make myself feel valuable the next thing I'm gonna talk about is whittling whittling can save your life in a time of need so what you want to do, what I do, this is a beautiful stick already, so I'm obviously not going to change it much. What you want to do is grab any old piece of wood. A lot of people take sticks to sharpen them, and you want to take your knife. See, this This is also good because this is something old people do, and you can get ahead, and by the time, you know, you're old and with all your old friends and they're getting into whittling, you know, you'll already know a little bit about it. And I know what you're thinking. But Samurai, by that logic, shouldn't I just kill myself anyway because I'm inevitably gonna die, so why not get it over with? And to that I say, alright, you do that. Anyway, so yeah, you just whittle a little. See, this is already completely naked. I've skinned it, and it's a beautiful stick. This is, see, this is what you might get, you know, through one day of not having your Wi-Fi. You know? A nice stick, a good old walking stick, or a weapon. The next activity that I really think you should try is guitar. It's really nice, you know, on a day when you don't have anything else to do, to just, you know, sing your heart out and play guitar like, you know, like they did before they even had Wi-Fi. Alright, this is an age-old activity, an age-old hobby, and there's a reason that it's, it, it's existed this long. Alright, so I bet I'll strum a few chords for you now just to show you what it's like. The next activity I'm going to talk about is is simply using your phone because most people these days have data or you know LTE 4G so there's that <laughs> okay the activity that I'm about to talk about is actually kind of it can be difficult but if you do it correctly you will be happy with your results so what this is this is called catcalling alright but not what you think it is alright it's not that it's this, it's this, it's a completely separate thing. It's this thing, that's that thing, all right? Keep them separate, keep them out of your mind, okay? So what's going to happen is you're going to be calling literally for a cat. Cats can be very, very fun to play with because they don't require much, you know? They don't require much attention. They don't, 
require much food, and yet they will take the attention in the food. So anytime you need to, to hug something, to cuddle something, to, to feed something for some reason, you can just call upon your cat calling skills to get the job done. So what I'm going to do now is show you exactly what it looks like to call a cat to you from out of nowhere. I have no cat. I do not have a cat as a pet line. And this is just in the moment. I've not planned on this at all. So here we go. Keep, keep. Yep. Oh, would you look at that? There appears to be a cat now. Hi. Ow, what's your name? Don't ruin this for me. Oh, what a great name. See, I'm already entertained. <laughs> Cats like these could save your life from drinking bleach when you don't need to. Okay, okay, get off, get off. I'm allergic to cats, so there's that. <laughs> yeah. Alright, those are all the activities that I can think of at the moment. I hope this has helped you. I hope maybe I've saved a couple of lives from the, the, the terrible clutches of Clorox. Um, please don't drink it. You don't need to. Your Wi-Fi will come back. And if not, God help us. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day. My social media will be in the description. If you have anything to say at all, uh, leave it in the comment section below. Please, anything positive or negative, please just don't make it too negative. Well, then now it's going to be extremely negative that I said that. Great. Great. Real nice. Real nice, Nick. Real nice. Sometimes, maybe I should drink this. Anyway, before I do that, I better give this outro. So, yeah, leave it in the comments. Uh, like this video if you liked it. And be sure to hit that red button labeled subscribe. It'll... Um, give you insight and availability to see my videos as soon as they're posted whenever and however I post them yeah alright I think that's it this is Samurai Guy signing off have a nice day